Hello YouTube watchers, welcome back to my third video installment of 3A Toys. In this video, I will do a review of some characters from the World War Robot series. And the reason why I've decided to do this video is simply because I couldn't find any videos of these characters on YouTube. So let's begin. And here it is. The World War Robot Nam Commanders. Uh, basically, there were three versions of these commanders that were released a couple of years back. And they were the original NAM commanders. Uh, these that you see here. The 3AA Snowblind exclusive version. And one other uh, version, the Shadow version. Which can only be bought if you visit the Hong Kong Venture. And uh, unfortunately, I do not have the shadow version I only have the original norm commanders and these snowblind versions and once again I've decided to use the um, snowblind version of the norm commanders uh, because the color tone is um, much lighter and you could see most of the details on the on the characters you know on the figures so let's start this review uh, it's a twin box set and uh, both boxes come in a really nice slip case and basically you get two of these these figures uh, they are they are basically identical figures except uh, that they have different faces on the inside okay this character right here apparently has the face of the creator uh, yeah the creator or the maker uh, Mr. Kim of 3A the company 3A or the previous company, 3-0. Um, really nice. I really like Mr. Kim there. Yeah. And uh, the other character here, the other pair that comes with uh, this box set, actually has the face of the other creator, Ashley Wood himself. So basically, I decided I've decided to keep one figure uh, fully dressed up, and uh, I stripped Kim down right to the bear here. Uh, so that you can see all the accessories and uh, the little details on the figure. And uh, I believe these are the only uh, 3A figures uh, that actually has the faces uh, of Kim and Ash. Uh, really cool. I really liked it. Uh, head scalp wise, very neat. Um, typical, very weathered. Dirty, and uh, has a uh, Kim. Maybe I shouldn't use the name Kim, or rather, I should use the name Thrice Not. Or that's what um, this character is called. Thrice Not here has a uh, this T-shirt here that has the Nam Trinity logo, and it's a it's a rather tight-fitting T-shirt. It's, it's really snug, unlike the other characters, and uh. Like the, the plume figures, um, there's one sleeve on the right arm and no long sleeve on the left arm. And going down further, um, no typical drawstring cargo pants. Uh, I'm not going to remove these uh, drawstring because uh, they're basically the same as Phantom de Plume. So if you want to see the, the details of the the drawstring or the little tag there, um, watch the Phantom Review video. And uh, same cargo pants with two work in front pockets. One here and one on the side. And again, no belts. Uh, two work in side pockets. Very clean on the inside. This side as well. There you go. And uh, like the latest uh, Phantom Diplume that I did a video review a while ago. Uh, there's this little pocket on the little uh, on the side section of the leg here. It actually works as well. And uh, the cargo pants are actually tucked in with a little drawstring on the inside here. Which is uh, slightly different from Phantom uh, or the latest uh, Fall on the Plume, which goes all the way down to the calf of the boots. Um, 
nicely weathered all rubber boots uh, toe cap very dirty nice and no 3A logo or made in China tag at the bottom of the boots and in the back same like all other 3A World War Robot characters you know these cargo pants has no pockets on the back just flaps our t-shirt is really messed up on the back of the neck 3A right there and basically that's about it for the figures uh, the face, the head scarf is just different for two figures one uh, thrice knot based off came of 3A and the other one uh, post fire which uh, has Ashley Wood's face on it okay so much for the figure uh, thrice knot here comes with this really cool glasses here uh, actually these are clear plastics on the inside you can literally see through them uh, a little flimsy uh, they might break uh, probably pale Ray-Bans nothing like oak lace and next uh, we go further down you know typical uh, German army helmet uh, the color wise is really uh, a little yellowish I would say and this rust stained spot there uh, usual rusting on the edges uh, no straps nothing just um, something on the inside some li little details okay and then we come we come to the gas mask the, unlike the uh, other diplom characters uh, the commander's figures are actually the first um, World War Robot characters to have twin hoses one on this side and the other one on this side kind of looks like um, some kind of insect face mask and Thrice Not Here has red lenses while Post Fire here has blue lenses yeah, you can see the, the difference and um, on the inside of the gas mask or uh, nothing just plain gas mask uh, very nice details here on the edges of the lens are nicely weathered and the details really shine okay so much for the gas mask uh, two hoses uh, these hoses are a lot harder and not as flexible as the one uh, on the newer World War Robot characters like uh, Phantom Diplom. There it is, hoses. And again, all weathered, very nice. And the hoses are actually connected to, the, to these um, little boxes that are all weathered. And these are actually the breeding apparatus. Uh, for the World War Robot characters and there's a little cross here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little slight groove there on the side as well and uh, This breeding apparatus actually goes inside this little pouches here that closes as well. It's a little clip there And you get two of these for the two hoses one on each side of the belt And going down further um, we have the belt, magazine pouches, uh, working barcodes, nothing on the inside, all flat, there it is, and this is the other breeding apparatus inside the pouch, and you get one back pouch like all the other uh, non-commanders, and this one has nothing on the inside, no foam, nothing. And on the bottom here, um, there's actually this gas canister that comes with the character. Very nicely weathered, I really like them. Don't know what these are for. And uh, the Commanders comes with uh, one pistol, not two, like Phantom, just one. And the pistol is uh, slightly different in design uh, from the regular Diplom characters. Oh well, basically because these are the Commanders, you know. And the pistol fits inside the pistol holster as well. There you go, fits inside there. 
and the last item the trench coat of the commanders uh, well I have both the original commanders and the snow blind version and apparently uh, this jacket this um, coat for the snow blind version are actually much softer and there's this little mesh or satin like material on the inside no foam, nothing uh, colors are weathered and dirty and except this little section here where there's a lot of pain and weathering it's a little hard not as um, flexible but uh, the rest of the jacket is just really soft uh, very nice details on the side here's buttons here really small one and pockets but uh, you can't really work them it's just flaps and on the shoulder as well for the ranks little button there but I don't believe you can remove them and the, the coat are basically is held together by this little tax here one on the, the middle and one at the bottom here oh, where it is Hold on. Oh, there it is. One here and one here. And there's one other one at the collar here. Along the collar here. There it is. And basically, that's the coat. And uh, comparing the commanders to the newer the plumes are the color tone. It's almost the same, but the uh, phantom is just a little... A little I would say the commanders are a little yellowish just a little bit maybe because of the lighting I don't really um, I don't think you can see the difference here but uh just slightly different but uh, basically the same cargo pants uh, t-shirt wise um, this is a uh, thrice knot tight fitting on um, phantom diploma it's kind of like your regular t-shirt it's not tight fitting uh, helmet wise the weathering uh, is much better on um, the commanders as compared to phantom as you can see there and basically you get these two figures post fire and thrice not very cool and this is what uh, the figures look like all geared up. Twin hoses on this side. And uh, the pistol, the gas canister, uh, ammo pouches, back pouched, helmet. Uh, you can remove the helmet, no straps on it. And yeah, basically, that's it. That's my review of the. 3AA exclusive um, Nam Commander Snowblind version. And see you soon, and thanks for watching.